Welcome to Sandwiches of History Vacation Edition. Our guest host today is no stranger to cracking open old recipe books because he does it all the time over on Retro Recipes Kitchen, which you can catch on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. For his day job, he's a private chef, but just in general, he's a great guy and a friend of mine. Please welcome Bobby Hicks. What's up, Barry? Thanks again for letting me jump on in here and stuff. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. And, you know, let's just not waste any more time. We're gonna be making today the Hearty Jim Sandwich from 1915. To make this particular stupid dish, you'll need two slices of buttered bread and one can of baked beans. The general idea is that you're gonna be taking your baked beans, I'm using Bush's vegetarian beans because my girlfriend doesn't eat pork, and uh, you know, just basically passing this through a colander, adding a little bit of salt on there, and then just eating it as it is. So let's get into it. All right guys, the Hearty Jim Sandwich from 1915. Honestly, that is not bad at all. I'd eat that any day of the week. It's actually really satisfying because you get this creaminess from the butter that really kind of like works nicely with the beans. And then because they're kind of smashed into basically like a puree, you know, it's just easy eating, I guess. But I do think that we can plus this up. For my plus up, I'm actually gonna be adding some of my Tillman's Barbecue Florida Gold. This actually won the American Royal Best Sauce on the Planet Award in 2023. This is one of my favorite things. I'm not a big sauce guy, and yet this is, I just keep going back to this. I think this is gonna work really well because it's got that Carolina-based mustard kind of barbecue style, but mixed with a little bit of honey and a little bit of heat added to it as well. It just works on everything, and I think it's gonna make a lot of sense with the beans and the butter. All right, the Hardy Jim from 1915 plussed up with a little bit of Florida gold. And now let's give it a go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's really good. <laughs> the butter is accentuating the sweeter elements of the barbecue sauce and, it's really, and even with the beans as well, it's pulling everything out. So it becomes this kind of like savory and sweet sandwich that's just really enjoyable to eat. It's just a really good sandwich. <laughs> so I'd say the original sandwich is probably about maybe like seven out of 10, seven and a half out of 10. It's very, very tasty, but not something I would necessarily get excited to eat, you know? And then with this particular edition with the barbecue sauce, I'd, uh, I'd easily bump it up to at least like an eight, 8.5, something like that. It's much more enjoyable. If you put this in front of anybody, they would enjoy it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Oh.